What's in my bag? Well, we are going to see. Uh, this is the auxiliary bag, and it, not to subvert expectations, but it's not what you would expect. In this particular baby, we have large battery, which we will show later, V-mounts, more V-mounts, our multi-tap, so we've got multiple taps, as well as straight up USB for house power, and all of the NFP batteries, the Sony NFP batteries that are not part of the kit that's in my camera bag. Lastly, we have chargers for the NFP batteries, rechargeable battery, here, let's pull that out so we can all see. Basically all the little power whips, but this one for the sound recorder, rechargeable batteries, charger for NFP style batteries, and a secondary charger charger for NFP batteries. We have all of these chargers just to make sure that if for some reason we have to do lots of charging at once, we bring enough. And then we also have the V mount battery charger from DNO Lighting. In that little slot right there, we also have this bad boy, which is basically my repurposed well, not repurposed, but it's the general battery. I can plug AC into here if I need it, but I also have the ability to plug all kinds of USB and even DC in certain cases, which means that I have the ability to actually uh, power a whole bunch of devices that aren't directly related to equipment, like phones, um, monitors, you can actually just put this under the camera and run the camera with this all day and you'll never have to change the camera battery. Anyways, I just thought I'd put that out there. It's a really useful device. It hasn't really failed me yet, but today it's going to get more of a workout than it normally gets. We'll see. And now for a look inside the body bag, as everybody seems to want to call it. This is my Think Take uh, Production Manager 50 bag, and it gets her done. So... Taking a quick peek in here, we have one, two, three, two full size stands, and one medium size stand, two small stands. We also have aperture space light, aperture Fresnel, glow soft box, aperture soft box, clips. Another tiny little light stand. This goes with our stinger. Headphones, mic. Then if we cruise over here, we have this light. It can be powered off of Sony NFP batteries or uh, the AC, which we already have in there. And I think I just messed up my, oh wait, no I didn't. Anyways. As well as the AC, as you can see, goes in there. Then over here, this is actually under all of this. This is actually a Godox SL60, which we use mainly for key light when we're doing dialogue related things. And then further over here, we have our aperture lights. Both the controller boxes are here, and then the lights, 120Ds, Mark IIs are set up so that they just stack one under on top of the other with padding in between. And then we have our various pockets, which as you can see, have all sorts of stuff in them, cables, interconnects, little mounts, tape, clips, C47s, whatever I need. So that is basically the inside of the monster, but there's more. It has this nice little seam, which is padded off all by itself, where I keep reflector. It has this nice little pocket in the front where I keep gels, reflector, and 
you got the reflector and more random C47s, which are like over in this corner because you can never have enough gel clips. That's my opinion. Anyways, that is essentially what we have here. Also other diffusions for some of our other lights, which are on the bottom you can't actually see. Oops. We actually have some other lights posted up in here, which as you can see, some more aperture LEDs that we use for accent, which are posted up down in there. And that is what's in my equipment bags. Camera bag, we'll see in a moment. today on set. Daphne Springs. Oh, that's a camera? Yeah, it's a camera. Oh, no, that's not good. Let's let's go. Go. Troy, director, writer, guy who hired me. Let's so, go. you know, let's give him a few extra seconds of promo right there. <laughs> <laughs> and the legend, Nat Turner here. We're not going to stick the camera too much in his face. Just hello. Anyway, so one thing that's critical, and your name? Kashana. Kashana. Kashana Perfected. Actually, comedian and we'll this game, bro. This is the kitchen setup. One hard light bounce into the ceiling. Another one coming from the side, bouncing across. So we just finished the day shooting with Troy, the world famous Nat Turner, and Daphne Springs. It was a good day. Um, got all our setups done pretty quickly, was helped by normal size ceilings and actually having um, white ceilings versus any sort of other funky color. So I actually left the soft boxes in the bag and just used bounce light. We'll see how it looks when we come back to, uh, well, when it's done in the edit and it gets posted on YouTube. Um, other notes for today, definitely like the Sony app almost a little bit more than a monitor because you don't lose certain tracking features and it's easy for talent it's easy to just hand it to talent and be like no i need you to move over 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 yes there and then that helps them sort of get a feel for where they are in the frame to help them you know kind of find a mark um obviously if i was working on a larger set i'd probably have an ac or something with a little mark bag or a little hash mark that they throw where the talent goes but we don't have time for all that we're i'm a one-man dp can i even say dp I feel awkward saying DP. I'm not going to say DP. I'm one man camera operator at this point. And, you know, just you don't have the luxury of everything that you would like to have on larger sets that I've worked on. Um, I will say it is very nice to have the Think Tank bag because, and even Troy commented on it, setup is a lot more mobile. I have one bag, which is basically camera, and that keeps the camera, lenses, cleaning accessories you know the little blow thing or whatever then we have the battery bag which is literally a big block battery uh, which I'll you know I'll point out later um, a bunch of v-mount batteries a, bu a bunch of NFP batteries Sony FP style bat NFP style batteries and uh, chargers and then the last bag is everything um, you know today we had two aperture marked uh, two aperture 120d mark twos uh one godox uh what do you call it uh sl 60 watt um and uh, i forgot what the hell is like it's like an aperture amaran i forgot which one it is it's like an led panel it's not like the really really it's not like the tri-8 it's like the one that's like right below that um and then like six other lights i never even got out the bag i only used one of the apertures one the godox um, and which was shot through an umbrella because we had a pretty wide scene and we had a lot of light in there so I just wanted to make sure I basically filled in some dark spots and then um, aperture was used for the same basically bouncing from the dark side of the apartment and then the Amaran uh, LED panel was basically used to give some kick behind the uh, 
the talent just so we would have just a little bit of some some coming towards them we really didn't have time to shoot everything because two o'clock to seven o'clock which is now um our talent needed to get to a stand-up show which means that you need to shoot fast and while making sure that you're you know doing everything as well as you can you can't spend forever playing with gels and color temperatures and a little bit of this a little bit of that which is something i like to do but like i said when you have a certain job to do you can't necessarily always make it into a technical exercise because that's not what you're being hired for so that's about it all in all it was a good day ice cube would approve now it's a matter of driving back home in the la traffic which shouldn't be too bad because there is some form of sporting event on television i believe it's the one where they throw the football through the hoop they dribble the football is that how, it, how? just kidding golden state baby raptors i have no idea who will win i don't care i'm a laker fan so clearly i'm in a state of depression watching my team destruct good day <laughs>